You've been in the, in the USC a little more than two years now, kind of been a, a roller coaster, some ups and downs, but I guess where do you feel like you stand in kind of your progression so far? The progression has been perfect. You know, I've been tested. Uh, I've had some wins. I've had some losses, but, they, you know, that's just life. They've taught me a lot of great things. I'm, I'm certainly not one to, to wallow in defeat. I'm always back in the gym no matter what happens. And uh, these, these past few fights have definitely been an amazing learning experience for me. And I'm the best me that I've ever been. And uh, it's my time now. It's my time. Your fights are always exciting, right? But I wonder, like, do your coaches and stuff say, hey, can we be a little less exciting maybe and just you know, let's, let's control things in there? Oh, absolutely. But the, the thing is, the thing is, like, I feel like I go out there just kind of, you know, moving and dancing my dance, but then I just see an opportunity, and then it's like, boom, like, you may as well take it. Uh, but, yeah, I've certainly, we, we train to be a little bit more conservative in some ways, but if I see the kill, definitely go for it. But it's okay, like, like, uh, if you hurt the guy, you don't always have to go in immediately. But, you know, like when I fought Jamie Pickett, like when someone's rocked like that, you got to go in for it. You know, you don't want them to recover. But uh, certainly uh, I, I have to be, yeah, yeah. I, d d don't worry. We, I've talked about it with my coaches. It's all good. And you're just hoping it stays together, right? I guess. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, so I guess, you know, six months since the last appearance, has that kind of been the, the focus during the six months? Or what's, you know, what, what's been the you know, primary focus in training? Always getting better with the skills. That's the primary thing. Uh, I've been working a lot with my mental coach, uh, Marcus Rogan, and I've been working with my dietitian, Jack Doherty. And it's been great being able to, um, uh, as I was saying in an interview earlier, I just, I always come in, not even, like even before fight week comes, I'm drained, I'm lethargic, I'm pissed off. I'm, I, I'm like... I've always ate pretty healthy, but I always just thought, you know, cut the calories and, and, and don't bitch about it. But I was draining myself way too much that by the time fight week came, I was just a zombie. And then throughout fight week, I would, cut, I would kill myself even more. So now I'm, I'm uh, a lot more energized. I have my dietitian here with me. Uh, I, I, I feel like I could fight right now, you know, and I haven't been eating carbs at all. I'm, I'm ready to go. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm certainly not suffering. And I feel like, I don't know, I, like, I feel like... I was always here when I was fighting, energy-wise, but the skills were always here. But if your energy's down here, you, you, there's really only so much you can do. But now I feel like I'm on the, the, the upper cosmic playing field of everything right now. Uh, I'm ready to go. Physically, I feel great. Mentally, I feel great. My skills are, are, are always there, so now we'll be able to see me at my fullest. Uh, stylistically, on, on paper, the matchup looks like it probably will be an exciting fight, even if you are, you know, fighting controlled. I guess, what do you think of the matchup here? I, I like the matchup. It's great. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, you never know. You never know who's going to show up. So I came in prepared for anybody. Uh, there, there are some things you want to look out for a specific guy, but at the end of the day, I'm just, uh, it, could be, it could be the champion showing up against me that night, and I'll be ready to fight him. Last thing, I guess, the goal here, I mean, obviously win, but um, I don't know, it feels like a, kind of a fresh start for you. It feels like you're in a new place. Is that, I mean, what's, what's the hope to accomplish here? Absolutely, 100%. I, I would love to be super consistent. I want to go back to the gym after this win, uh, be, be ready to take another fight, whether it's at 185 or 205, I really don't care. I really want to be consistent and, and, and make my mark and show people that I'm, uh, I'm not one to be messed with and that I will be the champion one day. Jordan, back here. Uh, I know in the past you've walked out to the Berserk theme song and Dora Dora's theme song and everything. Can you tell me what you're walking out to on Saturday? Yeah, I'm going to be walking out to uh, Injection by Rise Against. So we're going to go a little more with something that I, you know, it was around that time I grew up with. You know, like, I'll say with music like that, that was always like the, the anime music video music. They would always use Offspring, Rise Against, Some 41. So there's a little bit of an anime thing going in there for a lot of, like, the kids who grew up in my generation. So you'll still love it. Did you see the new uh, Dragon Ball Super movie? I haven't yet. I heard it was really good. I, I haven't had the opportunity. It it's came out right. during training. So. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> hey, Jordan. Um, can you talk a little bit more about the, your diet? Like, what was it before? And, like, what is it, what is it now? I would say, like, I, I never knew what supplements to take. Like, ever since I was a kid, I was doing, like, fish oil, multivitamin, protein powder. And you don't have to get too fancy with a lot of that stuff. And I would eat decently, but I was definitely under eating. I wasn't, uh, like, I would eat out quite a bit, but it was never really super unhealthy stuff, so I thought it wouldn't be bad. But at the, at the highest level, you got to be a little bit more professional with what you put in your body. And uh, as disciplined as I am, if I'm given a guideline, I'll know what to do. But if I don't know what to do, then, then ignorance will just take me down a path of, like, oh, shit, I thought I was doing okay. So... 
uh, yeah, just uh, eating more, eating a lot more healthy stuff and uh, treating it like my job all year round. You know, I don't want to complain about the weight cut and all those things. I want to, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy at 205. I'm also healthy at 185. So that's why I'm, I'm open to, to anything anywhere, depending on if someone pulls out of a fight or anything like that. I'm always ready. Do you regret not doing this sooner? No, because I wouldn't have known. If I hadn't have gone through those things in the past, I wouldn't have known. And there, there's just certain things when you're young, younger, you want to enjoy certain things that you can get away with. But knowing that they can be a detriment through the results that I've had have shown me that I have to change my ways. If I had changed my ways in the past, but something else came up, I probably would have been like, oh, the diet's not that important. But those, those, those experiences taught me just how important it is. Thanks for sharing that. Um, do you feel like you're fighting for your job on Saturday? Not really. Not really. I'm still going to show up to the gym no matter what happens. I'm definitely going to get the W, but uh, nah, man, I'm doing what I love. Like people, people, people will do anything to fight in the UFC. People do anything to follow their dreams. So I'm, I'm just, I'm taking it day by day and I'm just looking at it as another uh, amazing day and I get to show the world my skills. And finally, where, where did your nickname originally come from? So there, there's a story behind it because, like, my manager takes credit for that name, which is I, – I love my manager, but it's not true. Um, I was uh, – we were running sand, sand dunes in New Mexico uh, back when I was training at Jackson Wink. And I just made a joke saying, like, hey, Greg, I think I, I like the Beverly Hills more than the Sand Hills. And he was like, oh, Beverly Hills Ninja. That's a, that's a great name for you. Perfect. I think, I think we're going to stick with that. And I was like, that's perfect. That is perfect. I love that movie. I saw it when it was in theaters back when I was, like, seven years old. So – it, it was great. It stuck. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.